For this month's tune of the month, I tried something a little bit different. Instead of teaching you a tune just phrase by phrase, I went ahead and I went a little bit era by era to untangle some of the confusion that I had about this wonderful old tune called Rip the Calico. This month's tune is Rip the Calico, or Tear the Calico, or The Fair Wind, which seems like an appropriate tune to focus on in advance of the virtual guided session retreat where I bring a bunch of flute players together. So in Irish music, uh, oftentimes you'll have a melody, a tune, which is known by many different names. Same tune, different names. You also might have a tune title and different players have different melodies, different tunes associated with that title. You also find uh, that players sometimes will play a tune in one key, in one locality, and in a different key in another locality. And then um, there can be discrepancy on the order of parts of a tune sometimes. So Rip the Calico has all of that. And I'm here to try to untangle some of it by going back in time. So I checked out O'Neill's 1850. That's the collection that Francis O'Neill put together in 1903. And in his book, we got the tune with the three parts. It's a single three-part reel with the three parts in this order. <laughs> Second part. Third part. That's the end, kind of unresolved like. So, some years later, in the 1970s, the Bothy Band recorded the tune, and they switched the parts around. They started with... They did the tune in D, but that was the roadmap that they used. Okay, so easy enough. You change the order of the parts. You put it up a little bit higher. That's what the Bothy Band did. They did it for the stage. Maybe it's a little bit more, has a little bit more dramatic flair when you start on the tonic and then you really resolve the tune. I like the tune that way as well. So here's where things start to get really interesting. The Tala Kaley Band with whom I also associate this tune, recorded it on their 50th anniversary album. So they started the way that O'Neill starts, only they played through the form and then ended where the Bothies end. Get it? So if we're gonna take the Bothy Band roadmap, they played B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Hmm, implying that maybe the Tala Kaley Band also likes that resolution at the end real well instead of leaving it hang like O'Neill did. Okay, fine. Um, we're getting a little nerdy here. But here's where more confusion set in for me because the Tala Kaley Band, with whom I associate Tear the Calico, also recorded this tune on their 60th anniversary album. Only here's the tune that they played. This is Tear the Calico, according to the Tala Kaley Band, 10 years later. You'll notice our old um, O'Neill's first part and the Bothy Band second part becomes the third part of this tune, but then the first two parts, totally different. <laughs> That last part we really know, but the first two parts of this other 
tear the calico. They're quite different. If you don't believe me, here they are together. <laughs> really gets messy once you get into the B and C parts. I switch the parts around to line them up more, it's still pretty messy. Okay, very interesting, very interesting what a difference a roadmap makes, what a difference a version is. Um, and this is really choose your own adventure, but I like to do the tune with the roadmap of the Bothy Band and the key signature of the Tullakaley Band. So once more with feeling, lads, here we go. One, two. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Choose your own adventure. Can't wait to hear which you prefer. Let me know down below.